Hey friend, welcome to Self Transform, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. <laughs> hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out, guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. You're listening to episode 126 of Self Transformed. Hey friend, welcome back to the show. I've been waiting to do this episode a while because an all or nothing attitude has been coming up for me lately. It's been coming up in conversation with my guests on this show. I've been hearing my clients talk about it, my girlfriends. So I was like, okay, okay. I hear you. I hear you, God. You're nudging me to have an episode about this. So I hope this is reaching the right ears today. You have an open heart to today's message. I won't keep you very long because, hey, girl, I I know. I know you are busy doing all the things. You have all the tabs open in your head. But I feel like it's really important for you to take a few minutes to reflect and take some time to maybe do a little personal development, a little um, inner work as we're in this busy, busy season. We're getting ready to go into the new year as well. So gang, just a reminder, Habit Breakthrough Bootcamp is back. That is one of my most popular free workshops. I've totally revamped it. I'm unveiling a new habit method strategy I've never talked about before. I can't wait. You guys are going to like, you're going to be like, yes, yes, yes. Super simple. And you're going to be like, this is so easy to remember. And you're probably going to LOL a little bit too. And (laughs) I'm not going to give you any clues, but I like to remember things with silly phrases and whatnot. So this is totally going to help you (laughs) remember this new habit method to do the hardest part, which is taking action with your new healthy habits, okay? So come on over to the free Facebook community. You can click the link in the show notes or go to bit.ly slash self-transformed fam, just F-A-M because we're family, and join us over there. In the meantime, you can check out the guide section um, for previous workshops and free worksheets. Like I mentioned, Habit Breakthrough Bootcamp will be January 4th through 6th. I'll be going live for free coaching at 12 p.m. Eastern each day. I would love for you to join me live and comment during the live or watch the replay and comment because based on your comments, I'll be doing a drawing for two ladies to win two prizes. The first one is my custom habit tracker. It's only available in the Habits That Stick starter kit. It's such a great resource. It's such a great way to track some data for yourself as far as tracking your habits and seeing where you're spending some of your time. And also, I'll be giving away one spot in my signature course, Self Transform You. I've totally revamped this program, y'all. Um, on Monday's episode with Polly Payne at the beginning of the episode, I unveiled one of the new things about STU. I'm going to give you a little bit of more of a nugget today. So Monday, I mentioned there will be a one-on-one call for you and me to do a habit hacking strategy call to have a little bit more accountability, personalization for you. Today, I'm unveiling that you will be able to text me. Oh my goodness. So there'll be weekly texting um, that you'll get from me, some pump up motivational texting from me that you can actually reply to as well, um, which I'm super excited for that. I know, you know, sometimes emails get buried and I feel like texting might be a better way. You know, it might come out of time where you just really need that motivation or inspiration to come through um, just a little bit from me on your phone. So I'm super excited for that. Um, I'll be unveiling even more information about STU over the next couple of weeks. Cart will not be open for purchase though until Monday the 27th. So I'll share more information as we're getting closer to that day. I'll give you a big reveal that day and open cart that day so you're able to set off 2022 with a bang, taking care of yourself from the inside out with a holistic view with some habit strategy, girl. 
Yes, just clap my hands, so excited. <laughs> okay, let's get into today's episode. Like I said, I know you don't got a lot of time. So do you have an all or nothing attitude? So when we think of an all or nothing attitude, it's actually defined as a cognitive distortion, okay? It is, what the actual definition is, it's a cognitive distortion or an all or nothing attitude is an assumption we make based on minimal evidence or without even considering the evidence. So there are numerous kinds of cognitive distortion, but the all or nothing attitude is one of the most common ones. So are you like this? Sometimes I am too. Like if I can't do it all the way or if I mess up, you know, kind of like I was talking about using a planner on Monday's episode and my multiple planners that I haven't been able to use, if I can't do it right, I just didn't do it at all, you know, versus just like, oh, well, you know, I was off a couple of weeks. I'll just get back on the horse and keep doing it, right? We need to revisit the way that the way we view that, okay? So a couple of examples of all or nothing thinking. So it's all in the way that we talk to ourselves. It's about our thoughts first and foremost. So here's one. So say this is you talking. So I have a work trip coming up and I always eat terrible away from home. I need to put this program on pause until I get back and I can focus. Okay, so I have a lot of girlfriends that travel for work. My husband travels for work. And if you're saying I always eat terrible when I travel for work, guess what's going to happen? You're going to eat terrible when you travel for work. Whatever terrible means to you, food is not good or bad, but whatever makes you maybe not feel so great, um, that's going to happen because those are the thoughts you're putting in your head. So imagine you head into a, a, a trip thinking your meals are going to be a train wreck. Well, how are you going to eat? You're going to eat like a train wreck. And then it's you're proving yourself right. You know, you're planting these thoughts in your head. But why not replace those thoughts, those stories in our head with the opposite of that? So instead of saying, I always eat terrible when I go on work trips, be like, hey, I always try my best to eat as well as I can to feel the best that I can. And I'm doing the best that I can. Right. Doesn't that sound a lot more empathetic towards yourself? Absolutely. Absolutely. So some tips to overcome all or nothing thinking or all or all and nothing attitude. So this comes down to something called cognitive behavior therapy. Okay. So think your thoughts, okay, the stories we tell ourselves impact our actual emotions or actions. Okay. So going back to that theory, that thought you were having, like, you know, for example, I always eat terrible. The emotions then affect our actions. So that emotion, you're like, oh yeah, I feel so bad. I, you know, like I always eat so bad. Then your action is you actually go and eat the way that you don't want to eat to feel your best. And it's just a vicious cycle. So let me give you four tips Four, four tips to help you overcome all or nothing attitude, thinking of thoughts, emotions, action, okay? So number one, give yourself some grace. Have a little compassion for yourself. We have talked about this in so many different scenarios here on Self Transform is because we are not very nice to ourselves a lot of times, right? We need to give ourselves a little grace, give ourselves a little compassion, and you can always start over. Right. You, uh, tomorrow is always another day. You know, thinking of my whole 30 clients, for example, you know, I've had some whole 30 clients where they're like, oh, my gosh, Emily, I didn't plan well or I didn't have a choice or I had a really emotional day. And I turned to foods that weren't whole 30 and I just feel terrible about it. And I was really afraid to tell you about it. And I feel so bad now. I've gone down a spiral. Right. So instead of, you know, going down a guilt spiral, how about we just say, oh, well, tomorrow's another day. I can pick back up where I left off right? So have some self-compassion and grace for yourself. So thinking about our thoughts, number two, recognize your thoughts and why are you feeling that way? Why are you feeling that way? Okay. Is it because of your past experiences? Maybe you've had past failures and I use that failures in quotes because I always feel like the journey, the experience is part of it. You know, thinking about what you learned and not letting that one past failure on your journey not let you try to ever do something again. You know, procrastinate, you know, starting something like self-transform you or if you wanted to do the whole 30 in January, for example, 
but maybe you haven't been able to ever stick to something in the past. That's okay. I get it. That's where you could do something like the Habits That Stick Starter Kit for sure because that can give you some habit strategy that will apply to any part of your life. But I digress. So just recognize your thoughts and why are you feeling that way. A lot of times it's based on past experiences. And then consider the evidence consider the evidence. So, you know, when we talked about an all or nothing attitude, we're, we're making these assumptions of, of ourselves based on minimal evidence. You know, it's just one time we did something or one failure that we had. And what are the successes that you've had? What, what have you done to, for yourself? What have you done to move forward in your life with your health plan? What have you done that has made you feel really, really great and successful and empowered? There's probably more of that than the than what I've just previously noted. So consider the evidence, focus on the journey and what you have accomplished, not the failures along the way. Okay. Sometimes just starting, sometimes just investing in yourself is really hard and challenging at first. And sometimes you need a good swift kick in the pants, something like that in order to do that. You know, the beginning of last year, I was working with a business coach and making that investment was super duper, duper, duper scary for me. And like my husband had to meet with her and everything. And I actually interviewed quite a few, um, business coaches to make sure I had the right one for me and what who I wanted to become um, this previous year um, with the self-transformed brand as well. And I was focused on all my past failures. Oh, I tried this and this didn't work. I did this or this, this and the blah, 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 blah. No. I was going to consider the evidence, how many people I was able to reach, how many people I was able to help and how I can um, expand my impact over the next year. And then number four, what thoughts create a new emotion than that action for you? So thoughts, emotions, action, that cognitive behavior therapy. So thinking about whatever thoughts you're having, that all or nothing attitude, how can you rephrase the way you're thinking about it? So we were talking about that example from earlier. What is that emotion going to come out of that? And then what kind of action will you take? Okay, so your thoughts impact your emotions, impact your actions. So flip the script on what you're telling yourself and watch how that um, gets a different emotional response for you. You know, it's more so pride, more so than guilt. It's taking action and doing something for yourself instead of just cowering and not doing anything for yourself. Okay, so it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It doesn't have to be all or nothing, friend. And I'm here to tell you, you're not alone in feeling this way. And it's about having some intentional time. A bonus tip for you is anytime you find yourself having these negative emotions, pull out the notes app on your phone or keep a pad of paper by your desk wherever you're working and write down the flipped version of whatever you're telling yourself. Okay, if you're talking negative to yourself, Write a note, a positive thing about yourself on your phone. Write it down on a pad of paper. That's a new habit strategy you can use. So if you're finding yourself having a lot of these thoughts, as soon as it gets triggered, you are automatically going to write something down or have a notes app and, you know, title it something fun to remember to do it and change the way you think about yourself. Change the story you're telling about yourself. Change the narrative. Watch how that feels with your emotions and watch, just watch out world, watch what kind of action you're going to take. It's not all or nothing. It's not all or nothing. All you got to do is take action and be intentional, friend. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Remember to go to the show notes and join us over in our free Facebook community so you're ready to go for Habit Breakthrough Boot Camp January 4th through 6th doing a giveaway for Self Transform You. I can't wait. I'm so excited to share more information with you. I have dug my heart and soul into revamping this and I can't wait to share it with you all and watch, just watch the transformations you all are going to have this year. I got chills. I can't wait. Love you all. I'll catch you here in the Facebook group and I'll catch you here on the podcast next week. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you love today's show and know your girlfriends need to hear this message too, then grab a screenshot, post it to your Instagram stories and tag me at Emily Nichols 22 because the more mamas out there hearing this message, the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup. 
Or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.